Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stalker Gamma Ecologist run episode thing. <laughs> right, so last episode we did the Miracle Machine, we started out in Yantar. We did the Miracle Machine, then uh, we did a little bit of farming, we also did a few missions in army warehouses, got a few stashes, and now we are back in Dead City. Now, between the last episode and this one, I actually went a little bit overboard. I really had a mood to play more Stalker, and I didn't want to start a new run, so I continued farming with our ecologist here, with Dr. Krominov, and I ended up farming for, I think, two or three days, so that's like... Uh, I don't know, 10 hours of gameplay, something crazy like that. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we actually managed to get some money and some pretty good gear. I also managed to get the reputation up for both Clear Sky and The Ecologist to Maximal. I did a lot of missions in uh, the Great Swamps and around Agroprom for Clear Sky and The Ecologists also went to Yantar, so even the mercenaries, I basically uh, did rounds between Great Swamps, Yantar, Agroprom, uh, Dead City, and uh, also did a lot of army warehouses, mostly just uh, hunting mutants, although I also managed to get a couple of monolith in army warehouses, and uh, of course bandits, renegades, uh, whatever, threatened me, I uh, was uh, nice enough to um, shorten their time in the zone. I was just doing them a service, right? So yeah, we actually got a lot of gear. I managed to find a Sphere M12 helmet at a vendor, and we did reach 350,000 rubles at one point. So I just went ahead and bought it. Uh, unfortunately, there's no heavy armor equivalent to an uh, ecologist uh, helmet. So honestly, I think the Sphere M12 doesn't break any of our rules. But uh, if you think it does, leave a comment, of course, and we'll see what we can do about it. I also managed to get last episode a monolith cat 9 armored suit out of a stash and uh, i did fix it up now it is heavy military grade armor but it's designed for battle operations in anomalous areas uh and it's also an anomalous protection bodysuit so uh, I'm recording this before dropping the previous episode, so I didn't get to see your comments about it, but I ended up using it anyway, and this is what we will probably use to take out the Brain Scorcher, simply because there isn't really, at least I don't remember there being any good ecologist heavy suit that we can use for that, and the Brain Scorcher is unforgiving. Like, you, you could have an exosuit, a heavy exosuit, not the exoskeleton, and still get completely wiped out by Monolith. Uh, yeah, also bought a new knife, um, because the other one was breaking really fast, so I felt we needed uh, repairs continuously, so I bought one that's a bit more durable, which is the Spetsnaz Switchblade, and it served us really well. I've uh, looted a lot of mutants with it and uh, had no issues. I think I didn't repair it once. Upgraded the night vision to a level 2 night vision. Uh, and what else? What else is there? Um... Yeah, I also uh, bought two AACs that we can use with a Stone Flower and a Moonlight to increase our Psychic Resistance, along with the Diamond Suit. 
which should get us high enough to withstand some of the psychic anomalies we need to get through. I'm talking about uh, the one in uh, Agriprom, where we have to get Kovalev's laptop, and we should be able to do that right now. So with all this psychic re resistance and the Psy block, we should be able to get in and out without issues. Right, we also have our Spass 12, and right before I finished my farming run, run I managed to find this beauty um, in a stash right under Dead City, I think. And I fixed it up, put some upgrades on it, bought a Spectre Sight, a Sight, a Spectre Scope for it, because we have had the money and we still do, and also put all the extra upgrades I had on it. Uh, this thing really, really needs accuracy upgrades. Otherwise, it it won't shoot straight. Like it, it would shoot, it will shoot backwards without accuracy upgrades. But I did manage to get all of them. Um, it's just stuff upgrades I I had lying around in the stash, and I preferred to put them on this instead of the AK, which we still have here. So we also have the AK, and I also found or bought I don't remember a site for it. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of alternate between these two rifles, um, just so I don't um, disassemble bullets and rebuild them. I'll just alternate between these two. It's a bit easier, unless we find something better in a stash. But One bad thing about being up front. Love you.
Alright, let's just turn these in real fast. And I think there's one more mission I need to turn in right here. No okay, got a few more stashes. We do have a lot of stashes. I didn't manage to pick all of them up. So I should do a run through Cordon Garbage, and I haven't ever been to Dark Valley yet. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll we'll get there at some point. Right. And about the between episode farming, I think I might uh I think I might do something like uh either a bonus content at uh, <laughs> at the end of the episode or um Ah, uh, I I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably drop it at the end of the episode, in case you don't want to watch it on the way. Uh, it's probably the, the best I can do, and I'll, I'll try and edit it uh, nicely so that you, you get basically the, the high points. Right, so, uh, this anomaly... Did I forget to... I thought I forgot or I forgot to take the Psy block with me for a second. Okay, so we got the Psy block and I don't want to run in there all dizzy, so um did this help with it or is it just alcohol? No, we need actual diz dizziness removal. So yeah, uh, we can we can do a Hercules. All right, so we're going to jump on that couch and go behind it and try and make it really fast. Because the damage we take here is pretty heavy. Here's the laptop. And move it. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, oh boy. That, that was close. Okay, we're going to have to fix our stuff. Uh, I'm just going to use this. And I think that will be okay. Pop back to our standard gear. Right, we have the laptop. And I don't think there was an anomaly in there. Yeah, the last anomaly is right here. It's the Dogminster anomaly, which is... Um, I think a gravity anomaly. We can just make our way there and finish it real, real quick. Ooh, there's, there's repulsors over there. I hate those things. They're pretty hard to spot and they deal so much damage. You can hear them really well though. So at least there's that. Okay, so let's pull out our detector here and we already got a blip. It's right there. And I find the easiest way to do this is to come at it from below. And we got it. Right. I do have to upgrade the anomaly detector because the artifact detector because it is pretty um it is pretty outdated and for better anomaly uh, better artifacts I do need a better detector, so we will probably go um, into a bear detector from here. But uh, I am missing some parts, I think. Uh, capacitor parts. So we should keep an eye out for any electronics. Okay, here we are. I still didn't manage, even even with the increased relations, I still didn't manage to get anyone to come with me. And clear sky is maximal, so one of them should want to join, but... Hmm. Right. Hey, Professor, I found your laptop and got the artifacts. Thank you, this will help my research greatly. I hope this bonus will cover your expenses. Uh, I mean, two combat rations are pretty good. Uh, 5,000 rubles kind of low. 
Do you have anything else I can help you with? This is all for now. If you want to help us further, then I will send you to a colleague of mine who would appreciate your help. I'll send you his location and let him know you're coming. Farewell, stalker. Professor Markov in Yantar. Well, um, that's a little annoying. The long run to Yantar. Well, at least the, the area is clear all the way there, so I'll just do the long run and I'll see you all there. Alright, so we made it beyond our to the bunker. We did have an emission just before, but we managed to hide out just in time and uh, it's okay now. And, uh, oh, that's uh, an assassination mission I took by the, my mistake. So here is our ecologist friend, Associ Associate Professor Markov. Um, the rupture of the noosphere, which everyone knows as the second explosion, caused the creation of the anomalous zone. The lines of force of thigh fields, like tentacles, envelop this territory. Every object that is in the zone is affected by them. Even you are already marked with a zone. What? Okay. Uh, I, I think that's actually a typo. Either way. What can we say about the artifacts that are born in her womb? This is an amazing gift that not everyone can appreciate. And it's not about the money, money they cost. Artifacts are messengers of the zone through which it communicates with us. Therefore, we need them so much. My guy, you're, you're crazy. You can't smear artifacts on bread. Hmm, let me see. Ah, yes, there is another field study I did not manage to carry out yet. Just up north of here in Yantar, there is an old laboratory which emits dangerously high levels of Psi emissions. Not anymore, I shut it down. I have reasons to believe these emissions are affecting the formation of artifacts in the area. I didn't mean to entrust you with this task, but I can't wait to see the results. You should talk to Professor Sakharov if you need some sort of Psi protection. Right, so we need to find... Uh, the sample in the Tesla anomaly, the Edison anomaly, and somewhere in the factory. Somewhere in the factory. I'm not sure where somewhere in the factory is, but let's let's check it out. Am I hmm. I thought I was a little bit overweight, but apparently we're okay. Okay, let's uh, have a little check here. Oh, there it is. Ah, this still hurts as always. A moon. I'm okay with a moon. And we can actually do a bigger medkit. Norcore Fracture. I'm sure I saw blood right here. Fracture. Ah, I'll never get those snork hands. So annoying. Right, so we have to head north. There's someone over there, probably fighting because I heard voices. Oh! Bad. Bad zone. Stop doing that. I should probably just keep the shotgun out. There shouldn't be any enemy stalkers here. By that I mean they should all be friendly. It was really fun while I was uh, out farming. At some point a military patrol came into Yantar. They attacked the, f the um, uh, loners here in the bunker and I think one of them managed to nick a, an ecologist 
and the whole bunker just turned on them. It was beautiful. I got so much loot out of it. Well, not weapons and armor, because we're not allowed to take those, but... Right, there is a poltergeist here. If you walk and the screen turns white, it's 100% a poltergeist. Or was it just... Oh, it's not happening anymore. Okay, so it's a poltergeist that went away. Oh! Where is it, though? Oh, there we go. Just sit still, and it'll forget we're here. Another one coming. I want your hands! Ah, uh, he wanted my head. He nearly got it. Or it. Ooh! Okay, that's... A bit too many snorks for me. Uh, Leop. Oh, so they can reach here. Well, I'm fucked. What the hell am I doing? I'm supposed to just, um... That, that would have been so easy. God, I love this gun. But yeah, that's that's what happens when panic sets in. Oh, there's a hand. There's two hands. Nice. We can go get hip. Ooh, I, I'm still full of adrenaline from that uh, encounter. Okay, good. Now that that's done, we can finally get back to business. Right. There's the sample. There's usually another artifact around here. Oops. Let's not fall down. Okay. So, uh... Maybe not fall into the electric anomaly. Right, and there's another one... That, that doesn't sound right. Ah, there we go. It's a pin. And we got it nice and easy. Put that in a box. And we should also grab something to eat. Because those snorks did a number on us. Okay, next anomaly, right in here, it used to be harder to get up here, but now with vaulting it's super easy, right, we got the souvenir, and um, oh, I think these were both of them. Ah, 
we also got an itcher. Right, so are we done? Yes, we are. Cool. I think there's another round of uh, artifact artifacts in here. For now, we managed to get this. These, we got the snork hands, which is really amazing. And oh boy, that that guy scared me. Now, if he didn't have a gun from the side, doesn't he look a little bit like a like a hooded controller? I was about to shit my pants over there. Ooh! Don't scare a poor scientist like that. Uh, funny story, during one of my runs, that actually happened in the garbage. I was just uh, near the um, crane yard, or butcher's place, if you want to call it that. And I spotted a hooded figure walking outside the crane yard. And I was pretty late game, so I pulled out my deer hunter and disposed of it nicely with one single bullet to the head. And guess what? It was Butcher. He was taking a walk outside his compound. <laughs> right. So. Man, this really wasn't easy, but I think I found them all. It was easy. The snorks were hard. Okay, so we got cigarettes, lucky strikes, which is pretty okay. They clear uh, rats pretty well. 10,000 rubles, which is pretty nice. And a stash in the wild. Do you have anything else I can help you with? Uh, what? Sir! I, I was talking to you. Hey! Alright, intermission. What the hell are you guys fighting? Fracture. And another snork over there. Okay. Let's uh, see how we can deal with this. Another snork there. Should be really careful with buckshot around here because I might hit an ecologist by mistake. Come on. over there. We're gonna have to clear all of this out, otherwise we won't be able to talk with the ecologist. Another snork hand. Now that I that I have all of them, I'm they're, they're actually starting to drop properly, huh? Not sure suppressing fire works against mutants. I mean, they're, they're just gonna attack you, they don't give a fuck. Right, so... There's another snort there. Uh, okay, you know what, I'm gonna... Ah, okay, so he, he gave me the mission, I just didn't get to uh, read it. Right, so the next thing we have to do is we gotta head to Dark Valley and talk to Dr. Pigorov. Pirogov? Pigorov? Pirogov. 
I mean, the the names uh, I'm guessing Ukrainian based, so it would be Pirogov. Probably. I, I can only do the bad accent. I can't really. Uh, uh, I don't really know how you spell these. Right. So, since I'm here, I'm gonna do a quick run to Dead City. I'm gonna drop the stuff that we don't need, and then we will. Uh, Oh, interesting. Yellow stash here is what they gave us. And then we'll come back through Yantar, head through Wild Garbage, and into Dark Valley. Right. So, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by dogs, I would like to enter Dark Valley through the southern area. So, there's a passage here to the south. I think... I think we could go through the Witch's Jelly and uh, try and get whatever artifacts in there. We will take some armor damage, most probably. But I did grab a few repair kits from home exactly because... Uh, what was that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a controller. We have HP ammo. Right. So, as you saw, when you meet a controller, all you have to do is... Uh, like and subscribe this video. But, uh, actually, go behind the tree. <laughs> or any cover so you, break, you, so you can break line of sight really fast and just shoot them. As long as they don't get in close, because if uh, they get in too close, you'll start getting affected by the aura. And honestly, that's the most dangerous thing about them. But as long as you stay out of their aura's range, you should be alright. Right, we got a ring. is a funny little artifact. Electrical resist and stamina. I'll put that in the bag right there. Okay, Dark Valley, finally. And there's already a pack of cats there. Got him. I used to be really scared of Dark Valley before they updated the boards. Because I don't know if you know, but... I don't know if you know, but uh, before this iteration of Gamma, boards used to be crazy. They... they uh, they were almost undodgeable. I was scared of boars more than any other mutant out there. And sometimes when you came in through there, you just come face to face with a pack of boars. And it was basically a instant death scenario. Alright, clear sky guys. Yeah. Over here and... Mercs? Gonna do a little check real quick, see if any of them want to join us. No, they don't. They never do. When I started this run, I actually picked the stash. We already have one that's fully fixed, so I'll just pick the rest. So when I started this run, I actually had a nice mental image of how it would go just... Uh, Romanov, the ecologist, with uh, a pack of mercenaries hired to help him around, but honestly, they don't even want to join me for money. Right, so here's the doctor. Dr. Pirogov, you seem troubled. Yes, this shithole steaming with mutants and bandits, and these idiots sent me here by myself. Did you really think I would be able to ignore everything and just walk through here? 
did they? Fuck! Oh, calm down, man. Maybe I could help you. What do you need? Each artifact has a unique modulation, even if they are of the same kind. He can tell us a lot about such a mysterious thing as the Nosphere. I think he says he, may, he means they, as in the artifacts. The stupidest thing to do is to attach them to your belts and hope that he will, they will save you from bullets or anomalies. Now we are just getting to the answer, and we plan to compile a full spectrogram of the zone. For this, we will have to bypass a large number of territories. Well, what am I doing? Already knocked down. Alright, listen. There are some pretty rare anomalies around here, and they are practically untouched by these idiotic bandits. If you could get me a sample from each of them, I would be very grateful. Here are the coordinates. Okay. So, there's the glowing pit anomaly, and that's exactly why I swapped suits. I got the ruby, which is fire resistant. Uh, also, since we're here, let's fix this up real quick. I'll just uh, use that. Helmet can last a bit longer. Yeah, so that is a very big fire anomaly. We're gonna go through it. Then there's this one. We should be able to take it easy without um, engaging the bandits or maybe there's renegades here. But then the last one, the tunnel with the comet. Now for that one, uh, we're gonna have to go through the bandit base and that's scary. Not sure if we can do it any other way. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Okay, uh, I think there was a stash here somewhere. Oh, I just picked up some stuff from that stash. And I would like to drop a few things because I'm very, very heavy. Right. So, this thing is crazy annoying. Because... It's not only that it's a burner anomaly. This is all I have. This is all I have. But it also has gravity anomalies around it. So... Ugh. Right. Okay. That was much easier than expected. But do not try this unless you actually have the red suit. Because those burners will eat through pretty much any other thing that doesn't have proper protection. I, I once uh, tried to do this at endgame in, in an exosuit in an Osorog. And it basically broke the Osorog so bad I had to go home and uh, fix it manually. Here's a souvenir, and there's another artifact here. It's it's pretty easy, and from here, honestly, I'll just jump down. Right, now comes the hard part. Actually, now comes the golden stack we have here. Because it would be a shame to just leave it there. And then we'll have to find a way to sneak into the bandit camp. I'm kind of sad that we didn't actually keep um, a freedom or a merc armor. Here's the stash. Right, AKM, some basic tools. We'll just take the lot. Hmm. So how should we do this? 
one thing I'm thinking is... Uh, oh, there's an ecologist here. One thing I'm thinking is going around the compound and trying to find a way to climb up straight with the vaulting. Because these, these uh, anomaly locations were not made with uh, vaulting in mind, so some of them can be cheesed a little bit now. But let's see if it works out. I'm going to switch to FMJ. We're not doing very good on rifle ammo. Not not good enough to take out a bandit base. Definitely. So I'm going to try and go around it. And the artifact will be right there. Normally you'd have to go through the hallway. There's a very long hallway there. Uh, in which there's a uh, fire anomaly called the Comet. It's not easy, you can just uh, hide from it at different checkpoints, kind of like you do with the anomalies in the... Cat? Kind of like you do with the anomalies in, uh, in the Wild Territory Tunnel. But I'm thinking maybe we could jump up there straight and just avoid the whole the whole thing. Okay, there was a cat here. There's another one running around, I saw it, but don't know where. Okay, so can we Can we cheese this? Oh yeah. Okay, we'll wait for the anomaly to pass. There's a comet. And the magnet was the anomaly we had to get. And we can just run out. Oh. Be honest. Were you guys uh, expecting me to actually take the whole bandit camp? As an ecologist. <laughs> um, but honestly, I didn't plan this. I was thinking of uh, sneaking some hum somehow uh, into the warehouse and then going through the tunnel. Uh, but it just came to me right now. We tried it. It works. I'm very happy with this. Where is our ecologist friend? There you are. Right in the middle of an anomaly. Right. That was one hell of a trip, but I managed to get your samples. Great, I will let Professor Sakharov know right away. Thank you, Stalker, you really put, pulled me out of shit today. Anything else? Ever wondered why what artifacts are made of? Most often, these are the remains of living beings caught in anomalies. So the next time you decide to show off a rare find, remember, it could be the remains of some Stalker. Well, or a boar, who knows. I try not to show off with swag. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, Sakharov just told me that he wants me to check out the truck cemetery. You see, the truck cemetery is a poorly explored area and many shun it for good reason. Although there are apparently a number of interesting anomalies. If you get me samples from these anomalies, I'll give you a 50% cut of the payment for this job. The area is just north of here, but watch out for the bandits. Okay, so there's three artifacts in here. Charcoal Abode is a fire anomaly. Uh, the Bus Furrow is gravity anomaly, but sh we should be able to get in there without being touched. And then there's the Thorn Bath, which is... Um, it's a poison anomaly, or toxic, whatever you want to call it. And that one is uh, kind of scary right now, because I don't think this has... Yeah, it has really bad chemical resistance. Mm. And we haven't brought any from home. We could get another 12% with meds. Yeah, I think that's the most we can get. Oh, we'll probably just have to muscle through it. 
But yeah, uh, also there's a lot of stashes here, so we're going to gather those up as well. Right, so I'm going to take the path that I just took, so behind the base, and I'll go to Proximitary, and I'll see you all there. Okay. Proximitary. And a beautiful sunset to go with it. Alright, so first things first, I'm gonna go straight for the yellow stash. We marked it on the map. And, ooh, so beautiful. Hmm, I love sunsets in uh, Gamma. Right, I'm gonna try and keep my ears open. Okay. That's a fracture. Oh! Oh! That's so cute. They were both taken up at the same time. Unfortunately, I didn't get to loot them, but you know what? As long as the fracture is dead, I can't complain. Where is this stash? Is it right here? Oh, there it is. Right under the thing. And we got an AKM. It's got good parts. Another drug making kit. We're gonna get rich off of drug making kits only. Awesome. Um, and... We have an orange utility kit. Can we just apply it here? Oh yeah, 7 kilos weight carried. Awesome. The good thing we found that basic kit, the the uh the crickets just started out of, <laughs> out of nowhere. Give me a little pause there. Right, so, no chimeras, yet, <laughs> though I wouldn't mind fighting one, it's it's always fun to fight a chimera, as long as it's not three of them, it could do two, but, okay, so, back to our suit. Pull out the detector, and we can see the anomaly right there. And because we have so much fire resistance, we'll just run through the whole thing. Ah, I love this suit. Cool. So, that was the, uh... What do you call it? Whatever, the... Something-something charcoal pit. Right, oh, locked case. You know what, I'm, I'm not taking this right now. I know it's a mission, but I, I... I also have to go back to the Dark Valley to finish this one. And that locked case is 5 to 7 kilos, if I remember right. So, we'll... I'll, we'll come back to this at, at another time. We're here to do science, not not drug run for freedom. Oh, I love the red here from the sun. Beautiful. Also, um, if you guys know of any way to stop the time in Gamma, so I can keep it golden hour forever, please leave a comment. I would love to do that. I, I would play in the sunset all day, every day. Next playthrough, Gamma Sunset Run, Invictus. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so bus for anomaly, it should be here somewhere. Okay, we got a hit, and it's, uh, I hope it's not that one. Oh, it's that one. Okay, can we reach it without getting popped? <laughs> oh, okay. That, that was not very good. Steel wool. There's another anomaly here. Okay, I think I got it. What is it? Another moss. Or was it the signet? One of them. And I am out of... Uh... Medkits. Advanced medkits. Well, whatever you call them. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit bad with names today. Right, and we'll also have to take an ibuprofen. And we are also gonna have to fix up our uh, armor before... Yeah, I should probably do it right now. Mm. Go like this, and... can probably do one of these for four percent okay and it's right here in these uh, woods take a little bit of a look around sometimes there's lurkers uh, running in these parts okay we're gonna have to take one of these just for a little bit extra chem resist. And we got a hit. And I'm just gonna run for it because this thing damages you very badly. Oh, and... Lobster eyes. Lobster eyes are really good because it is one of the artifacts that Hip needs to take the Sidorovich, I think. But that was it for Crux Cemetery. And we are going to be heading back to Dr. Pirogov, right? And we're gonna finish the mission before nightfall. Why do you like staying standing in there? Okay. Man, that was a del desolate place. Anyway, here is your next batch, Professor. And he gave us 15,000 rubles, which is not bad. So, anything else, or was that it? It is believed that anomalies are some kind of breaks in space-time where the physical laws of our world stop working. But there is another point of view that this is a, a powerful signal source that we simply cannot receive. Who trans transfers them and why? Or maybe it's just a saucepan lid that rattles over boiling broth? The main thing is not to gasp again. Honestly, this, this translation makes no sense to me. <laughs> well, there is one more thing. I sent my last assistant to the garbage to place prototypes in some of the anomalies. But he has missed the last two radio contacts, and I'm afraid something happened to him. That's not surprising in this irradiated shithole. Last time I heard of him, he wanted to stock up at the flea market, so it's a good idea to start your search there. Find my assistant and his PDA. It should contain the locations of the remaining anomalies I'm interested in. in. Bring me the samples so I can leave this godforsaken place. Alright. So, this is uh, just like Kovalev's laptop, uh, we're going to have to find the PDA of this uh, other ecologist, and then we can go searching for anomalies. I've done this before, so I know that the PDA will be right behind the flea market in that underground um, entrance there. And the anomalies, from what I remember, one of them will be right here. One of them will be in the witch's jelly, right uh, here-ish. And the final one will be in the fire pit, uh, fire 
thingamajig vehicle graveyard. But that will be for next episode. We will end this one right here. And uh, we will actually... We'll return here, so I'm not going to take things out of the stash, because we're going to go to garbage and come back. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And as always, I will see you all next time.